So we wanted to do a quick video demonstration for what these OWL cameras are going to look like inside of your classrooms in the fall. Uh, what you'll see right now in this recording is you have a 360 degree panorama shot. So as I walk around the room, up top you have a 360 degree camera. The camera on the OWL should focus in on me as I begin to talk. So the camera should shift it over looking directly at me as I walk back over here and I get out of shot real quick, it is going to either split the camera into two views because it thinks it's looking at two people, which is totally fine right now, and then eventually it will focus in on me fairly well. Uh, I'm down in the temporary building right now, and the camera is just about all the way in the back corner, so if I go all the way to the other side of the classroom, you can see that the camera picks up my voice pretty well. Granted, I tend to be a little loud when I teach, I know, shocker, but the camera does a pretty good job of focusing in on my voice, as well as making sure that I am nice and clear. Your students who are watching the class virtually will be able to chime in because there is a microphone built into the OWL camera. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, what happens if you need the camera to focus on a specific place or if you're not interested in the 360 degree view? Well, in the email that I sent you guys, there's a PowerPoint presentation where I show you exactly how to do that, but now I'm going to give you guys a video demonstration of it. So on the app on your phone, you can completely disable the 360 degree camera. So the 360 degree camera is completely gone right now. Press one button, comes right back. Nice and easy, okay? You also have the ability to manipulate the camera's lock and zoom feature where you're going to take control on your camera. And now all of a sudden, the camera is focused directly on a whiteboard. For those who are interested, this is a brief le lesson on optics. I know, you're all thrilled right now. And I can manipulate the camera by tilting it in the 360 degree range. So I tend to be a multi whiteboard kind of teacher. So if I start on this whiteboard and I'm up here and I'm lecturing and everything's great, I come in with focus, ah, you know, you got the height of the object is three centimeters, the distance of the object is 30 centimeters, it's a convex mirror, so as you all know, a convex mirror has a negative focal length, okay, I'll stop now. But then if I go over to the other whiteboard, I just take control of the camera, move it right back. You should be looking at your computer screen so you can see what the camera is looking at. And now I'm over here and I'm doing ray tracing and all this, that, and the other thing. Also, what's really nice is you can tilt the camera a little bit in either direction. So I can tilt it up a little bit or tilt it down a little bit. So let me try that. So we can tilt it a little bit. And then the best part is we can zoom the camera if we want to. I know this is very, very exciting. That actually helps with the tilt feature a little bit. So I can tilt the camera up and down or I can zoom the camera in or out depending on what I need on the whiteboard. Okay, so if you have any questions and then you just hit reset to autofocus to bring the camera right back to focusing in on a speaker. If you guys have any questions, please take a look at the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, ITS is more than willing to help you guys, but it's pretty much plug and play. You just need one cord for the power, one cord going into your computer. Again, the PowerPoint presentation shows you how to set it up and which app you need to download. And then from there, it's very straightforward. You just want to make sure that you're taking control of the camera for your classroom. So I'm sure the cameras are going to be named according to classroom because you don't want to take control of the history camera when you're trying to teach a physics class, okay? If you guys have any questions, please email me if you think I need to add anything to the PowerPoint presentation and then update it for the faculty. That's totally fine too. But otherwise, that is our camera system for the fall of 2020? Yeah, 2020. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go.